everybody welcome back to my channel and welcome to another process video for follow a sketch february this is for yesterday's sketch the 12th and this one again is with scrapping reflections put on by sandy reverski and this sketch is from scrapping day and i don't see if there's an actual um, designer's name, but it looks like um, Sandy got this from Scrapping Day. So with this one, it is, um, it looks like it's um, layout with like on a um, solid piece of paper, maybe on a frame. And then it's got the stack of four by six photos, some embellishments on the, um, you know, making your triangle, large title, and then you have small paper strips coming off the side. So for this one, I'm scrapbooking pictures from last year in Florida. These were on my um, camera that I um, had not um, downloaded to my computer. So these are just two. They're the same thing of my sister-in-law, her daughter, and then her um, two grandkids um, at the pool, and then my um, brother-in-law. So... I think I'm going to use these. Now, I may just use two of the photos and not go three. We'll see how it looks um, when I actually get it all put together. So for the papers, I'm still using, um, I had these embellishments out from the other day um, when I did pictures of Dylan. So I'm going to go ahead and use those. I have this as my background. I did pull out a piece of white that I figured I could um, gut and use as a frame and then use the inside to frame the pictures with the white. And then I have all of these scraps and I also have um, not much left, but the Simple Stories 4x6 um, that's getting down to the end. So if I can get some of these on as well, that would be fantastic. So let's go ahead and start by um, cutting our frame and matting our photo and just building up our base. So let me grab my cutter. And I think, again, I'm just going to do um, a quarter inch going all the way around. So I'm just going to do my one inch that I normally do frame. I'll just give it a little pop of color. I thought about using like yellow or something, but I do have quite a few more photo, um, photos to do that are summertime pool pictures. And I think I'm actually running low of summertime paper, go, go figure, um, at least of the simple stories. So I'm just kind of um, going to use the white instead. I just need to go in and um, pull out my summertime paper and see what I've got. Maybe build a collection of it. All right. So we've gone ahead and cut those. And put that to the side for one second. So hopefully you guys are having a good month and are actually getting um, a lot of layouts done. Hopefully you're following along and having fun and getting ex inspired. And that's what's important is just get in and get into your stash and play with your paper. Uh, all right, so... The way I usually do a frame is once I've cut my one inch frame going around, I add my adhesive right to the like the edge of this paper and it usually stays in and now I hover it and I'm looking at the bottom and the sides so that there should be a quarter inch on each side. And then once I these sides and the bottom look right, I'll lay it down and usually the top is pretty good. 
It's not always 100% perfect, but it gets the job done. So now we're gonna go ahead and frame these. Well, first, let me see. Do I wanna go with two or one? Or I mean three or I could do the three and then just have them kind of run off the page. I like putting Paul in the middle because then it kind of um, frames it out. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm only going to make a thin border. I'm not going to go real huge on these. And I may have to get out another piece of paper because it looks like there's not going to be enough for all three photos. But that's okay. I have tons of white paper. I get my white paper from Hobby Lobby. Um, they sell it in, I want to say it's like a hundred pack. And then I um, usually will get it when it's on sale. And actually what we could maybe do is put Paul's picture on a colored piece of paper. And that way we have a pop of color since his is different than the other two. Yeah, so I go I go to Hobby Lobby, um, and in fact, my um, son and his girlfriend gave me um, a gift card to Hobby Lobby for Christmas. So the last thing I bought, I went in and bought out their paper in the larger quantity for a while there with um, COVID. They didn't have the larger um, packs. I want to say it's like a hundred. Yeah, it's 100 sheets. And so it's $16.99, and then they had it 40% off. And I'm I'm pretty happy with this cardstock. So I bought the three packs of white and 100 and um, took all that they had on the shelf. And then I got one pack of black. And so I'm stocked up for a while with that. All right, what colors do we want Paul's picture to be in? Now, I could use this multicolor one. This was part of that Paige Evans I used the other day. And then that pulls in a bunch of colors so that when um, I go to embellish, I don't have to worry about having to stick to a certain color. Normally, I don't know, I, I think of these as like gumdrops and I would have it this way, but I don't think it's a problem with turning it sideways. They're just wonky little squares and or blobs and I am just looking for the, the pop of color. And with making it a small border, you can't really tell what is underneath. So that's always a hint, like even it, no matter what the paper looks like, um, if you do a thin border, you know, a lot of times you can't even tell what the design is on the paper. You're just getting that pop of color, and that is what we're wanting for this layout, is just the pop of color. All right, so the other thing I look at when I'm doing things that are wonky is where is their dead space in the, in the photo? So for this one here... Um, this whole upper half is dead space, so I'm not going to hurt anything by having it run off the page. I'm not cutting off anything important. With the picture of Paul, again, this section here, this section here are both sections that I can cover up. So when I'm putting this top photo down, because I don't want to cut off my sister-in-law and her grandson, I'm going to go and place that to the top over the dead space on Paul's picture. Now when I get to this one down here, this corner is okay, 
but there's nothing here. So if I slide this under, again, I'm not taking off anything from the photo that will take away from what I want to remember. Now the next thing I want to do is I don't want extreme angles. I want slight angles. This is something I learned from Chamel. So I'm just kind of making it so they're a little wonky and running on the angle. And so I'm pretty happy with how that's laid out. So I'm just gonna leave them there. I'm just gonna run a bead of adhesive right there for now. I can add more adhesive and um, secure it better. But this is just kind of holding it in place. Plus I'm keeping it so that I can tuck things under. So as I embellish, if I wanna tuck under, I don't have to rip up the adhesive to get that um, things under there. And all right, so we're good. So the next thing we'll work on, they had all those strips that were going probably from the middle of this photo down to this photo here. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna see what we have for strips. And they don't have to be big. I can just go ahead and cut little things. And I'm just gonna start, I wanna vary the size and the shapes and the colors. So, um, I'm gonna go with scraps first. And I'm not gonna adhere anything down yet because I really want to try and um, figure out where I want things first. And then I can go back, once I have all the colors kind of arranged how I want them, then I can go back and um, add more. And let's see. And again, I'm going for the scraps first and looking at the colors. And we can layer them. We're not worried about um, the width. They can be different widths. This is a good one. It's got lots of color. Now the one thing I don't want to do is like this one, hearts have a direction. So if I was to put that on there and turn it sideways, to me it would be funky. This side with polka dots wouldn't matter. And let's see, this I want to cut with a trimmer because I have nothing to guide me. Like these I was able to do with the scissors just because um, there's lines on the paper. And so those lines would allow me to um, pick where I went. All right, we need maybe like one more. And this one's got a little rainbow. I'm not sure if I wanna use that side or the other side. Can either go with the pink, which I'm kind of leaning towards, or the rainbow. Kind of leaning towards the pink. All right. I like what we've got. Don't have to overthink it. Got a lot of color in there. And you can see that I varied up the shapes, like this one is like the little blobs. Then we have polka dots. I have plaid in there here and here and here, but they're not next to each other. And then I have those multicolored painted strippy things. So, um, and it's all scraps. So a great way to use these up. 
and get them onto a layout. Now I'm going to try and move these to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and adhere these down now. And again, with the sketch, they were varying how, you know, how far out they were pulled, how far in they were going. Now this one, the edge is kind of funky, so I'm just going to clean up that edge. And this one's on the bottom, so we're going to put that one down first. Again, we're just kind of stacking stacking them but also varying how far out they come out okay this one can go down let me go to the bottom and kind of get a few of these in one down now if you wanted you could do tags you could also um, do um, banners you know things like that now I could do floral on this one and kind of change it up or I could go with the plaid again I think I'm going to just go with the plaid and keep it symmetric. There we go. All right. So we're good on that. Now they had their title going down here. Um, I'm not as worried about that. Um, and again, I'm not as worried about having a title. But we have relaxing. Swimming, sun kiss. I kind of like relaxing because this was, um, we all came back from having a day out. Dan and I had gone to Tarpon Springs and um, my brother and sister in law had taken all the kids and gone on um, the um, airboats in the keys so it was kind of like we all came back then and went to the pool and all all kind of kicked back so that was a lot of fun so dan's one of eight kids and so this is his oldest sister and we didn't stay with them we stayed with his other sister they both have condos in the same complex. So it was a lot of fun going down there and just spending a week with them. So um, we're gonna do the same thing um, this March. I don't know if we're gonna go the following year only because um, in 2025, Dan and I will be having our um, our 25th or 40th um, wedding anniversary and I'm kind of wanting to do a bigger trip so I don't know um, what we're going to have planned so we may we may um, save our big trip for the following year or you know for something during the summer so I'm just kind of looking through finding Things that would work. Making a cluster. 
So these are chipboard pieces from, and I also have some of these um, foam pieces that were from Sunkist. And I also have the puffies too, so I want to kind of relaxing. So we want three, we could do relaxing good times. So in the sketch, they have a cluster up here. Then they have another one over here and then one down here. I think I want, let me see. I can't do summer, a lot of this has summertime stuff and that I can't do because of the fact that um, this was spring, so, you know, I kind of, I'm a little weird about, you know, adding things that don't belong. All right, and then I also have the sticker sheets somewhere. Where did I put them? All right, where did I put the sticker sheets? Oh, here they are. I'm just looking for things that I can use as a base. So actually, we're in Florida. Florida screams flamingos. So maybe I'll do the flamingo down here. that there and there was a little oh well, here's another radio and um, here's some flip-flops And a beach bag. Let's see. All right, we have a swimming suit. We can put right here. We can put that there. We have a little summer hat we can put down here. And Maybe do the flower flowers. Kind of like the hat going over the top. All right, so good with that. And Let's see if I have a flip-flop sticker. I do. I'd rather use the flip-flop stickers because they're flat. So I can add the flip-flops right here. And then the radio next to it. Okay. 
good with that. Now I need something more up here. And I do have a little floaty ring. And I think if we put the little peacock or the flamingo floaty, because they're on their floaties, put that like right there. That's good. And let's see what else. So we have sunny days. I can put that like right here. And might move this because I think the good vibes here and somehow get the ring up there. Okay, like that. And then we'll get the sunshine up there. These all have, need more adhesive. And maybe a little heart. And here's some more foam hearts. We'll put another heart there. And heart there. So we've got the three hearts. We've got three little clusters. We've got our three stack photos, and then we have our title. All right, I'm going to call this one done. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I will trim off the edges and add adhesive to like adhere the photos down a little bit better and all the chipboard stuff at, off camera. So we're going to call this one done. I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by, and um, I will be back again with sketch number 13. And then we will be caught up and um, make sure you check out everyone else who's playing along. Um, Sandy's Facebook group, again, is Scrapping Reflections. In the um, folder, she has a folder for all of the um, Follow a Sketch February 2024 sketches. In the comments of those sketches, everyone is uploading their layouts and links to any of their social media. So if they're, um, if you're looking for something inspiring, um, check it out. Um, there's lots of inspiration, a lot of wonderful layouts, and having a great month right now. Um, Sandy picked out some great sketches, and it's been a lot of fun. So thank you so much, and I will see you again on my channel real soon for another process video. Have a great day.